How's it going, guys? It's Crazy Boy here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing as Freddy. As you can see, I'm a level 2 Freddy because I did not level him up after I prestiged him. I'm in rank 11, about to be rank 12, or rank, rank 10, and my only perk is Ruin 1. I'm going to show you guys. Freddy is not as low tier as you make him out to be. Freddy is not as bad as this entire community is saying he is. Honestly, his rework seems promising, but I don't know. His rework seems really promising, but I, I, I just don't know. I'm kind of down for his re for his rework if they're going to make it more fair to play against. And I think that's what they're doing. So that's okay. But Freddy is amazing in his current state. And the only way he's not amazing is that you don't play him right. Because he has a lot of potential right now. Take this compared to the Legion video that I just recorded, which you guys have, will have seen probably Tuesday, because it'll probably end up going up on Thursday, where I didn't just say Legion was garbage because I didn't know how to play him. I said he was garbage because of the way his, his, the power worked. Freddy, I'm not saying he's good because I know how to play him. I'm saying he's good because of how his power is. His power right now has a lot of potential. You can sleep with somebody, and if you follow them, you're pretty much guaranteed a free hit unless there's a pallet there. When they're in the dream state, they have a 25% action speed penalty, which causes them to blow up a gen and regress the and regress the progress on their generator. So you're automatically getting something beneficial out of it, even if they're waking up. You're invisible, so they can't see you coming, and your lullaby is very faint, so it's hard to hear over the sound of the generators. Not to mention, it's ten times harder to get a flashlight save on you if the survivor's not asleep because they can't see which way you're facing. Or where your head is at, for that matter. And to top it all off, you can see their auras through walls, so if they run outside of your terror radius, you're good. You know exactly where they're at. So, his power is actually really beneficial, and I believe in the rework they're getting rid of his action speed penalty. Which probably won't go too well if they don't compensate for it. But the gen channeling does look pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. The gen teleporting looks pretty nice. No, we're not going to do that. I meant to hit triangle. So. Going to... Oh, you are a fucking douchebag. I'm going to record this. And show you... That Freddy is not an ass killer. I'm going to prove it to you. If these survivors would ready up, I would show you faster. Not too bad, though, with the amount of time it took for them to get into my game. Because it allowed me to explain why I think his power is really good... Like I said, compared to the legions, I gave specific reasons as to why I placed him where I did, in low mid-tier. Because of his power details. Freddy, I did the same thing, of why I placed him in, I'd say high mid-tier. He's, um, I'd say he's probably right below Trapper. He's right below Trapper, um... I think that's fair. Right below Trapper, maybe Myers. Freddy is. He's not the strongest, but he's definitely not the weakest as everyone's making him out to be. So... 
so we will see just how bad he is. A level 2 Freddy with only Ruin 1. People just aren't playing him right. People focus too much on one person. They sleep one person, they follow them, and they chase them until they down them. That's not going to fly with Freddy. You got to sleep everybody in the general area. We got ironworks too, so it's got a decent amount of pallets. It's got the loop around the ironworks. <laughs> and he disconnected. See, look, and he disconnected immediately because it was a Freddy. And look, see, you can follow him right here. Damn, I expect him to go in faster. But if there's no windows around or anything, it's pretty much a free hit. Watch, I'm gonna get this hit off right here. Yeah, balanced. And yeah, they try and take you around the loop. You can mind game it if you want. And Freddy's got an insanely long lunge, so you guys can just do that. You guys can just swing around the pallet. You guys can literally just swing around the pallet. And my ruin is gone, so now I don't have any perks. So now it's going to be the, the real proof right here. Hook him. And then you go look for another survivor instantly. Don't sit around. Don't check the gen unless you know somebody's there. You gotta get survivors to sleep as fast as possible. As you can see, the gem was blown up over here. I wanna go over here and kick it. We're not gonna hit him. You really just want to focus your pressure on your gens, guys. Now we'll chase him, because he's right there. Get rid of that pallet. And it's okay for you guys to lose people in your chases. So we're going to, you can leave him go and you can let him go heal because like I said, the important thing is getting them in the dream state. So it's okay if he heals, if he pulls himself out or tries to. We're just going to put them back in a dream. We're going to sleep on both. Follow her. Get that free hit off. Just go around the pallets. You can break the pallets if you want. However, I wouldn't recommend breaking ones that you don't have to. And just swing through the pallets like that, guys. You have a long lunge. It is important that you swing through the pallets. You guys have a longer lunge than you think. Freddy, I believe, has the longest lunge in the game, but don't quote me on it. So you see, they're both awake now, so now we are just going to go find them. Because whenever they want to wake themselves up, they got to keep blowing up the gens. So as you can see, they're not around. Just kick the gen. Keep the pressure on your generators. Don't let them get the advantage on you with the generators. Make sure you hold some gens. Make sure, even if you're not going to watch, you don't have to watch all of them, but make sure you watch at least three. You don't want to let them get the gens. And when playing Freddy, the generator should always take priority over the chase. Unless that person is dead hook. And you know the gens aren't going to be done immediately. Just in case. So you guys see now we're in uh, kind of a stallmate. Where uh, I have no idea where they're at. My ruin is gone. 
But in this scenario right here, if you guys ever are in the stalemate where you have no idea where they're at, walk around. Check your gens. There will be somebody at one of your gens. So you see, I wasn't checking this one. He popped it. That's my fault. We're going to sleep him. Follow him. And since he's injured and we got that free hit, it's going to be an insta-down. So Meg right there, she's behind us. We're going to sleep her. You want to sleep him as fast as possible? Boom, get that free hit off. Just lunge around. Boom. And now, here's a here's a be even better part about Freddy. Because of the fact that you can see him, because of the fact that you can see your survivors through walls, you can leave people on the ground, and you can go look for the last person. That way they won't get hatched. So obviously I can, I can see him. He's over there. And see, that's the best part is that he can't even see me. She couldn't see me. She ran right into me. And now we know that Ace is somewhere over here. And he started running. So now, guys, you can see we have him, and the other guy is down, and he's already used his unbreakable, which means that he can't get up, and we know exactly where he is because he's in dream state. And you can see that's where that free hit comes in. Ooh, he juked us. But pretty much, it's just he's just like Legion, guys. You guys get that free hit. You guys, you guys get that free hit in, you can, uh, you can get that free hit in, and then it, they're pretty much a one shot from there. All you gotta do is just to lunge around the pallets, lunge around the corners, and you'll be good. And you guys can see, boom, right there, that's a 4k. One disconnected immediately just because he didn't want to play against a Freddy, and another disconnected because he was left on the ground, and then I killed the other two. So that's a 4k with Freddy. At level 2, with only Ruin. Which was broken in 30 seconds. And let's look at they were running. A rank 10, Borrowed Time, Self Care, Ace in the Hole, Empathy. Rank 12, Balance Landing, Distortion, Adrenaline, Premonition. 17, who belongs clearly in a higher rank based off their perks. Adrenaline, Sprint Burst, Self Care, and Unbreakable. And then another rank 12, Spine Chill, Bond, Dead Heart, and Hope with a Stipe Decision. This guy didn't want to play against a Freddy so much that he disconnected and sacrificed his Stipe Decision for it. What does that tell you? If people don't want to play against a Freddy like that, it shows that obviously he's powerful. Nobody is going to leave immediately against a weak killer. It's probably because he's annoying. You don't see a lot of people leave against the Legion now. You know why? Because ever since they changed his power, and he can't down you with feral friends anymore, and all that, people don't care. That was the most annoying thing about him, is that he could down you with feral frenzy. He had that slight kind of chase pal chase potential about him which still allowed you to down with the power and you can still counteract loops in a way now that he can't do that nobody disconnects against him because nobody cares they know he doesn't have that potential whereas freddy he's still powerful he's still got that kind of potential where he can do whatever he pleases he can sleep you and he can get that free hit off and then he can just down you because of his lunge it's amazing It is amazing. And everybody hates on Freddy. When Freddy is so amazing. He's so good as a killer. 
for a lot of reasons. All the reasons I named at the beginning. So I hope this proves it to you guys that Freddy's not garbage. If you like to hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.